Hello everybody, today I'm releasing my first point of my 10 point action plan. My first point is statewide rent control and affordable housing. As your next governor, I would repeal Costa Hawkins and Ellis Act and I would replace it with a bill that is not only going to protect landlords but also residents, environment and stop discrimination. This is a statewide problem and not only 70% of poor Californians whose paychecks goes to rent and working class people who have to decide between putting food on the table for their family or pay their rent. In 2016, 30% of Californian tenants put more than 50% of their income towards rent. Housing crisis has made life difficult even for those with well-paid jobs. One-tenth of Californian residents are considering leaving because of the housing crisis, homelessness, food insecurity, extra long commute, and low wages. If California is the future, why is our state falling every year 100,000 units short of what it needs to keep up with the housing demands? Why are many middle class residents moving out of the state? Why are we forcing low income families and college graduates living in the tents and boxes and middle class families living in their vehicles? Why is it so difficult for our citizens to meet ends meet? I'm a college professor and I'm homeless. Property manager. I just moved into my van. $65,000 a year as an environmental consultant for NASA. Chris Leap says it's not enough to support her and husband Dennis. Today, there are over 113,000 homeless nurses, firefighters, teachers, farmers, veterans, single parents and children living in the streets, churches, government offices, non-profits and parking lots cold and hungry. 40% of the people who live in their cars have a job but they can't afford to pay for their rent while our career politicians are celebrating in luxury homes, cars and restaurants with our taxpayers money. Major factor. A growing number of people on the streets are children and young adults. This is why we need eviction protection and statewide rent control until we meet the housing demand because raising rents are causing more homeless and today 30% of residents cannot afford local rents and if we increase 5% in their rent it will add another 2,000 homeless on the streets of Los Angeles alone. To help 1.7 million poorest Californians afford homes would cost 15 to 30 billion a year. To stop the homelessness, we need permanent housing, emergency shelters, and supportive services. To keep up with the population growth and stopping landlords from raising new rents, we must build at least 200,000 houses per year. Housing delays, it's housing denies. And in California, it takes five years to approve a housing project. Ask your next governor. I will make sure that I will build at least 200,000 houses per year. I will balance the commercial and residential development. I will make sure that units on the streets have ground floors as a commercial and units on the top floors as residential. Units of the streets are pure residential. I will motivate and work with cities and developers to meet each city's housing demand. I will make it easier and faster process of the housing approvals. I will consider to reform the California Environment Quality Act if needed. I would stop blocking and delays of housing projects. I will reform the waiting time from five years to no more than two years from concept to permit to approve a housing project. At the same time, I will closely work with California Environment Quality Act to protect our communities from environmental harm.